hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video i am going to show you how you can install this package pytorch 3d on your local system these commands which i will be using are valid on linux mac windows or any other operating system as long as you use conda and i would highly highly encourage you to use conda to get this thing installed I have seen online that various people are struggling to get it installed properly and I really don't blame them. It is a pain in the back to get it installed and I will try to make this process as easy as possible for you. We all are aware of PyTorch. So PyTorch is an open source library which has been developed by Facebook's AI Research Lab or FAIR in short. PyTorch provides a dynamic computational graph and automatic differentiation system for building and training AI models. It also gives us a very nice easy Pythonic interface which really makes it easy to do tensor computations. We can also do automatic differentiation for gradient computation, distributed training and a lot of other things. When it comes to this PyTorch 3D, it is a variant of PyTorch and it provides an efficient and reusable component for 3D computer vision modeling. There are four major parts of this PyTorch 3D. First and foremost, it gives us data structure for storing and manipulating triangle meshes. It also gives us efficient operations on triangle meshes, which includes uh, sampling, loss functions, projective transformations, graph convolutions, and various other things. It also provides us a very cool mesh renderer. And if you want to see all of these in action, you can go to my channel. And on my channel, if you search for Han Juan 3D model, you will see that this is a 3D model where I have used this PyTorch 3D. And you can see it in action around generating the 3D images just from text or generating the meshes. But this video is about PyTorch 3D's installation. So let's get right into it. Before I show you that, let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are AgentQL. AgentQL is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly, easily and at scale. And you can use their Python SDK to run your queries in production. It is a robust alternative to fragile XPath and DOM CSS selectors as it uses the power of AI and I will drop the link to their website in video's description. I am using Ubuntu 22.04 to get this installed. So let me start with it and i'm going to install or create a conda virtual environment first if you don't know what conda is and it's all architecture please search my channel i have done a detailed video on it so let's wait for it to get created and our conda environment with python 3.9 is installed and i would highly recommend that you go with python 3.9 environment because I have seen incompatibility issues with Python 3.10, 11 and even 12. Next, we need to install the actual PyTorch. That is a requirement in order to get this PyTorch 3D installed. And you can see that I am specifying the exact versions of PyTorch which are compatible with Python 3.9 and also CUDA. If you don't know what CUDA is, so CUDA is, um, I would say, an NVIDIA library in simple words for and it stands for compute unified device architecture it is a parallel computing platform or api it allows you to use nvidia's gpu for general purpose processing okay so let's wait for it to get installed shouldn't take too long and that is done next we need to install this iopath library IOPath is, an, is a very lightweight IO abstraction library that provides a common interface across storage backends. It is primarily used for creating forms to capture information and save the content as a file on your system or web server. So let's wait for it to finish installing. And you just need to press Y here so that it will install all the components required, which includes DQ, DM, and that is done. Next up, we need to install this NVIDIA Cub library. Now this NVIDIA Cub library is another interesting library. It is It provides a reusable software component for every layer of the CUDA. It provides 
primitives around CUDA which includes lot of things cooperative warp wire prefix scan reduction if you are deep into these sort of things you can uh, go to the repo of this nvidia cup and they have given a very deep um, explanation of what this cup does and again just press y here in order to get it installed and that is also done and now finally we need to install this pytorch 3d from its own channel in conda so let's wait for it to get installed and when it asks just press y here and it is going to install all of this stuff and that is all done so pytorch 3d is all installed on our system and if you want to check out the version of this pytorch 3d you can simply do it just the way we do with the torch simply launch your python interpreter import torch import pytorch 3d and then you can print its version you can see that i am on the latest version this points uh, 0.7.5 and by the way they also have a very uh, finely written website which is pytorch3d.org where you can find out more documents more tutorials if you just want to do some sort of uh, computer vision or machine learning as i was mentioning earlier these are all the stuff which it does it also gives you a bit of an example how you can use it but if you are looking to see it in action in generative ai properly with the model i would suggest you watch this hanyan 3d one video where i have shown you how to use this pytorch 3d video uh, pytorch 3d package also one another thing i wanted to mention is that it is highly recommended to use it with gpu but still you can use it with the cpu but if you are using it with cpu most or i would say even 60 to 70 percent of its feature are not available so make sure that you use it as long as you have gpu and for gpu it really works well with the nvidia's gpus i haven't really seen it working well with other gpu providers that is the harsh reality of these days and that is valid as i speak today i'm not sure what would be the compatibility down the road now that said also another thing i would like to mention is that i would repeat uh, that there is a high dependency on the versioning so make sure that you are aware of it so that's it towards the end i would like to say thanks to mass compute who are who have sponsored the vm for this video if you are looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs, so do check them out. Thanks for watching.